Hello, Dr. Malley. What does it mean to you to have been selected as the Robert Austrian Lecturer? Oh, it's a great honor. Um, Bob Austrian is such a giant in the field of pneumococcal um, epidemiology, immunology, and vaccinology. And I think it's just a wonderful honor um, to be asked to present a lecture in his name. Do you have any personal stories or anecdotes about Dr. Austrian? Well, I've met Dr. Aust I had met Dr. Austrian several times, and uh, I was always impressed by what a wonderful, caring, and thoughtful gentleman he was. Uh, my favorite story about him uh, relates to the first time that he tried using a antibiotic to help a young woman who was recover was in the hospital due to pneumococcal pneumonia. Uh, he treated her by giving her some erythromycin pills. Um, he was very impressed to hear that uh, she had recovered and uh, was doing very well. And only subsequently did he find out that the uh, pills that he had given her were still under her bed and that in fact she had recovered without any intervention at all. Can you tell us about the pneumococcal vaccine you are developing for the international community? Uh, about 15 years ago, Dr. Porter Anderson uh, came up with the idea in combination with Dr. George Sieber and Dr. Um, uh, David Bryles, the concept of maybe trying to replicate the success of the whole cell pertussis vaccine by uh, trying to do the same thing with the pneumococcal vaccine and essentially taking whole cell bacteria, killing them, and trying to see if you can elicit broad serotype independent immunity to the organism with the whole bacterium. Uh, I was recruited by Dr. Anderson to assist him in this effort and this uh, resulted in a 15 year and still going uh, collaboration which now involves uh, the group PATH, the Gates Foundation and uh, the Brazilian Institute, Instituto Butantan. Uh, as well as Walter Reed in the development of this vaccine for developing world se uh, setting. What do you feel is important for the future generation of vaccine researchers to know? I think in general, uh, one has to enter the vaccine field with great optimism, but also a serious dose of reality. Most vaccine development efforts fail, um, and one should go into any vaccine effort with the realization that there are so many hurdles to uh, to cross before the vaccine can actually be tested and in fact shown to be effective, that one has to sort of look, look at this in the, in the long run. Uh, at the same time, I think even efforts that are less successful than one would hope teach the scientific community a great deal about the organism the vaccine was supposed to target and uh, help the progress of science. Finally, one more very important question. What is your favorite baseball team? to be the Red Sox. <laughs>